for those who are new on the channel, since there's so many videos, this is Greeny, the 1940 original paint, EL knucklehead. All 40s were ELs the first year for the FL. It's 1941. This bike came, special order paint. This is Hollywood Green. The Speedos, the white face Speedo we call it, is actually a gold face. That's a new old stock Speedo I found and put in this bike. Has a tremendous amount of special order nickel on this machine. This is the bike that was in Greg Fields' book in 1997. The only original paint bike in a How to Restore Your Knucklehead book, which has conservative three or four additions to that book. And this bike became famous. And magazines and calendars and single-handedly stopped the restore everything craze that was taking America through the late 80s and 90s. It was in Wayne's Pierce, Wayne, Wayne Pierce's Harley-Davidson shop in DeKalb, Illinois since the early 70s, approximately 1973, when I've been able to trace down the trader inner of the motorcycle was the nephew of the owner, and it seems to have had potentially a trade-in at some point in time. Now, I'm saying potentially because it has evidence of having had a sidecar at one time. As we have scratches here. Well, that's sidecar scratches. That's the only way they get there. And it has a Harley replacement later horn. Had a date code 46 Speedo with 16,000 miles on it. And this is a Harley replacement rear leg here. We know it's a factory replacement because it has no internal zit bungs here for the grease. The ones that saw the bungs were the Harley standard fork. So apparently in 1946, all of a sudden everything got fixed, which is exactly what a dealer would do. And those are things that would break from sidecar use. Where's the sidecar? So in my opinion, that seems to be what happened, and uh, we'll never know for certain, but at any rate, uh, assuming that's what happened, somebody brought it in for service, it got fixed, the sidecar went away, maybe the guy decided to get a vehicle, lose the sidecar, it's always another possibility, we, we don't know, we'll never know. So the history of this motorcycle starts approximately 73 when it got traded in. So the guy traded in for a brand new Sportster and had to lay out money. That probably was not worth very much at the time. So we're going to flip this bike around and get another look at it in the sun. On the other side. side this machine so let's go have a look it's just amazing that this bike hasn't been repainted there are plenty of other nice early bikes doesn't I mean I get to own them done to this machine at this present time is I put on a correct dual stock Speedo. It is a date code 42. I've put on some nice original nickel gas caps. These are original later Eaton's. 
are actual originals. So I've had the tanks off, I've had the rear wheel off, had the bags off. So had the oil lines off, toolbox off. It had a repainted and blasted six inch air cleaner on it at one time. I assume somebody blasted it because it was probably peeling and looking nasty. And so I found a nice original and I still need to get a tag to maybe move the tag for it. That'll, that'll show up one day. So I haven't done a thing about the horn. And uh, personally the, the rear leg is cool. Maybe I, you know. If, by some miracle I get a new old stock rear leg that would blend in with this bike hey, ooh. and it comes apart at that same time great but until then it's beautiful so a bunch of the uh, glow brights were busted so we replaced the busted ones with good ones the little caps were missing here so these are new old stock I put those on put these on here so the other glow brights here are already in place and obviously if I can get some better ones of these I'll put those on. The machine came with the little jewels on the bags, I'd like to get some jewels for the 38 and I put on a much better seat, I had a solo seat that the fringes have long since gone away. This is a new old stock seat I picked up quite some years before I had the bike. So, there she is. She's waiting. A bunch of you guys are going, well, why don't you get it running? Well, when a bike sits for 40, 50, 60 years, you can hear it run. Yes, you can. You can fire it up. And what you're going to do is you're going to hurt it inside. And parts, if I hurt it, are just fucking everywhere. Just damn common. So it's more important to me to just enjoy it like it is and wait. If I ever get to do it right, great. If I don't ever get to do it right, I enjoy it just like it is. Yes, I do. And, uh, one other thing I did, the shift knob got stolen at the auction. I got it and I had this on the shelf, very similar to the shift knob that was on it. Let me put that on. So there it is. Uh, I see no reason to fuck with the horn even if I had a horn unless I actually I'm dealing with getting it running at that point in time. So there's Greenie. There she is today. And very pretty in the sun. So we're just sharing the motorcycle. We'll see you all in the next video.